With 35,000 people currently waiting for surgery in Saskatchewan, the government says it will slash the backlog by privatizing certain procedures. We're going to build an existing contracts with private surgical providers to increase the number and types of surgeries they can perform. This will give additional capacity to the SHA to perform more complex procedures. The government's goal is to achieve a three-month wait time by 2030. It has set a target beyond its pre-pandemic levels, planning to perform a total of 18,000 surgeries over the next four years. The emphasis will be on operations with the highest wait lists, including hip and knee replacements. The leader of the official opposition says reaching the province's targets hinges on having enough health care workers. If they don't have a plan to hire up and staff up in health care, something they've been failing to do for years, uh, no, they can't reach these goals. A policy expert agrees. If you're recruiting people from the hospital market to try and convince them to come to work in a private facility, then you simply reduce capacity in the hospitals. There, there, there's a fixed supply of health care professionals. Instead of looking to the private sector, a health care union says the government should focus on tackling issues such as chronic staff shortages and employee retention. We believe it's a terrible idea because we believe that improvements can, can and must be made within our public universal health care system. The government says it is still trying to figure out which procedures will be privatized. It's also not sure how much this new plan will cost taxpayers. Yes, Milanea, CBC News, Saskatoon.